Hi everyone, welcome back to She Blurs Podcast. Today's guest is Sherry Nelson. Hi Sherry. Hi Brooke, how are you? Good, welcome to my podcast. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I love your show. <laughs> Thank you. So Sherry is an actress, a Maxim model, and a TV show host. So I want to thank you so much for coming on today. And I'm so sorry for earlier. <laughs> no, no, no. This happens live. No, no. But thank you for having me on. And as we were speaking earlier, I love your show. Um, um, your interview that you had with Scott Page, always the best. And April Rose, you've got a chart chart stuff right there. So I'm happy to be here. So thank you for inviting me. <laughs> so can you tell our listeners what inspired you to become a model and actress? Uh, well, it was ju- actually by accident. Um, I was working for my father for the last several years in Canada, British Columbia, in the forest industry, selling lumber. And our family had sold the company. And I was traveling around the United States looking for lumber trading jobs. And a photographer saw my Facebook photo, uh, my profile photo, and sent me a note saying that there was a Maxim magazine contest. He thought that I should enter. And uh, so after thinking about it for a little bit, I checked and it was open to international applicants and I submitted my Facebook profile photo and I entered the contest. And uh, so without any anticipation of getting anywhere, because Brooke, you know, the women of Maxim are the most beautiful in the world. And I just wanted to be able to say down the road that I tried. And I'm glad that I did because now here I'm on She Blurs with the amazing Brooke. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you. I've seen that you've been a lot of on a lot of shows, oh, quite a bit. I have, and and I really enjoy it. I love to be a co-host. I love to tap into different demographics, and and the people that I get to meet are are a dream come true. You know, like you understand, Brooke. You've heard them on the radio. You've seen them in movies and TV, and here you get to ask them questions, and it's 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 so amazing and wonderful, and. I, it's, it's a blessing. Yeah, I definitely like. Have you ever like thought of like um, auditioning for like lifetime movie roles? <laughs> well, I think I might. Um, as we're almost, I hope at the end of COVID, uh, I do love the Lifetime Channel and there's or the Hallmark Channel. Even they film a lot in Canada. You know that that show Chesapeake Shores is one of my favorites, and they <laughs> film right near where I was living on Vancouver Island. So I I would hope that I could maybe be a benefit, or I may or I'm believable in that vein. So. <laughs> You know, like with Maxim, I I would like to try as much as I can, and and hopefully something sticks. Yeah, definitely. So would you? uh, Would you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. (laughs) Like if I had the opportunity, I would. I would do it. I'm definitely not shy. And people's like, "Wow, you're not shy to interview all of these people." I'm like, "No." And they're like, "You're very intelligent, and you carry a lot of." intellectual stimulation for your conversation and that's wonderful but if you were to act in a movie what type of movie would you like to be in uh lifetime (laughs) a lifetime um i guess like uh i'm trying to think of one of their movies like one of the high school movies like true story movies like one of those yeah no that's a good one for sure (laughs) that that would probably be the best because it's the ultimate to try and portray another living person right yeah. and so talk about trying to do your best at all capacity so good one <laughs> so how has your life changed since um being in the top four like how has your life life changed oh uh, well a lot of people know me now and <laughs> you know when I was working for my father selling lumber there wasn't any zoom and there wasn't a lot of FaceTime and things like that. So all my sales were done over the phone. And so now, and, and initially with the Maxim magazine contest, I thought, well, if I enter it, then you'll see a picture of me on Google. <laughs> and, and now, oh, God bless my friends and family. They're probably exhausted by me, but there's pictures of me on there a lot now. And I never, ever thought that would happen. So there's that <laughs> aspect. And There's just, I've always been an inquisitive person and I love to learn about people and be inspired by people. And so interviewing various individuals, I hope 
that I can also give opportunity or inspiration to the viewer, you know, because there's so much out there that's sad right now that I always try to hopefully offer something optimistic or something for people to look forward to that just to give them a little piece of um, positivity um, to look forward to. So I that's my goal right now is just to add as much value as I can to the host, the owner of the show I'm a part of, and but most importantly to the audience. Oh, yeah, definitely. So are you picking up any other modeling like jobs or anything or are you done with yeah. that yeah there's a few in the works right now and uh i hope to visit the united states in the next month or so and and do some of that i have to update my portfolio and yeah there's a few things that um i hope people will like that will be happening that's awesome so have you ever been to the united states I have. I have. I love your country. Um, our, our family business was 40 miles north of the Montana border. And Canadians, we are an exporting nation. So we always root for a healthy America. And because they always say when the United States sneezes, we all catch a cold around the world. <laughs> so we always root for a healthy America. And I remember when I first started working for my father and he said, you're going to be speaking to a lot of Americans. And they're the <laughs> funnest people you'll ever meet. And he's so right because it never felt like work. I was I was so fortunate because I always learned from my conversations from the various buyers and traders, but they were always so fun and happy and optimistic. <laughs> and I, when I think of the United States and, and American citizens, I always think about their optimism and their pride. And it's it's wonderful to see. Yeah. Oh wow, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So where do you see your career headed in the next few years? Well, um, you know, that famous 15 minutes of fame, and I hope mine is getting close to that. <laughs> so I, I hope that um, people don't mind me sticking around. I want to work still as hard as I can. And I, like I said, I, I really do enjoy what I'm doing right now, and, and I hope like I said, I love I love the audience. They're the people that tune into our various shows. They're so smart and they're so intellectual that you know every day it's a struggle to make sure that I give them back something of value and worthy of their own intellect. So there's it's I don't ever see my desire to want to serve better um, weakening at all. So I, I hope to do that. I hope to, you know, be in a movie soon. I, I've got an opportunity coming up for a couple and, um, yeah, I just, I, I love doing what I'm doing and, and, and I can't wait to visit the United States because there's so many pockets in your nation that have their own little personality. And I love it. Like when I sold lumber, I love the people of Birmingham. They were just so fun. And, and the people of Nashville had their own little twist of things. And, and I just, I love it. I love, um, I love the United States and I look forward to going there. And my father's going to come with me and that makes me really happy. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I live like maybe like an hour or maybe an hour and a half away from Nashville. And I'm like, I've never been to Tennessee. And I live, like, really close to Tennessee. I'm like, why haven't I visited? <laughs> okay, it's a date. I want to take you with me because I really want to go to Dollywood. Oh, you do? <laughs> oh, you have no idea. I really want to go there. I love Dolly Parton. I do. <laughs> me too. I'm a huge fan. A huge fan of hers. <laughs> yeah, who isn't? I love her. <laughs> <laughs> and she's funny she's very she's very humble that's what i like about her yeah. well talk about the ultimate success story if there's anyone's path to follow you know and she did it all with an open heart and kindness and she's again the american ideal oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> so what's your favorite um type of style and what magazine would you want to be on the cover of <laughs> and all of them. No, I'm joking. No, I would think I might be suitable. I it, it's amazing because I still can't understand people wanting to even interview me because I, I I hope I have something to offer. But it, and it's funny, I still can't believe people would put a photo of me up. And I don't know, maybe it's a Canadian thing or maybe it's a Nelson <laughs> thing. I don't know. I still am surprised. And yeah, my dad, he's so adorable. He always goes. 
they seem to like you down there. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I, I, like I said, I hope that my 15 minutes won't end too soon. Yeah, I feel like you're an inspiration, especially to um, young teens and young adults. Like, you took that chance and you uh, submitted your photo and you didn't let that hold you back. Like, that you made it in the top four, that's a, that's a great accomplishment, like, really. And I feel like you telling your story and coming on our podcast can inspire other young women and young adults. To, uh, you know, that is take the that ultimate thing. compliment. Thank you. But I'll <laughs> tell you my secret. I, I didn't tell anybody I entered because I didn't think I was going to get anywhere. And the funny thing is, is in our country, in Canada at the time, we had a we had an election going on. And I would be, and I didn't tell my dad. And we would go for lunch and people would be, I voted for you, Sherry. And I'd be like, thanks. And my dad, he's so cute. He goes, you know you're not running for politics, right? It's <laughs> adorable. So anyways, no, I, I highly recommend people. We're only here for a short time. And just take a gamble. And if you're still shy or nervous to do it, just do, don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. your own little secret. And maybe it won't jinx <laughs> it. <laughs> Definitely. So what advice would you give to our listeners who want to pursue a modeling career or pursue like ar around the, the path that you're taking? <laughs> Well, nothing comes easy and, you know, and I believe in hard work and I believe in being honest and doing as much as you can for those around you. And then, you know, the a bonus might be an opportunity. So when COVID first hit, I, I would be interviewed and then somebody said, oh, I've got so much editing to do. And I would say, I can help. And so, you know, I want to learn as much as I can. And I think um, if I can offer any advice, our appearance will fade, but just don't let your brain turn to mush and just learn and read and do as much as you can to keep your brain stimulated and you'll be the best that you can be. Yes, definitely. That's great advice. That's amazing advice. Like <laughs> little, little <Miss> <laughs> because I feel like I feel like having you on here it really will inspire, you know, like the girls that's in high school or middle school and they're like, I wanna be a model, but I'm, I'm scared and you know I don't want to take that chance and maybe they may watch this interview and them might be like yeah I'm gonna do it I'm definitely gonna oh, do no, it that, that's that's so lovely and and I, I hope I would be able to do that but you know one day I was thinking about this and for all the young girls and boys out there and and they have a lot going on they have a lot on their plate these days but um, you know life is almost like those Invictus games like they're almost like an Olympian so you want to always do eat the best and keep keep your foundation healthy so just always keep the best physical mental you as possible so I think that that's first and foremost be the best you can be to you yes definitely <laughs> and you know just as you mentioned that I just went to the gym and she was like bro you have to eat healthier because if you come in here and we're working out and you're passing out and vomiting that's not gonna work she was like you have to take care of your body before you oh. come in here and train with me <laughs> and I struggle with that so you know food is 80% of it and I am still struggling with what works best for me I it's not really a heavy protein for me so I think that's one of our hardest mapping um chores that we have to do is figuring out the food content that is best for us so good for your trainer to hopefully give you the structure you need because I know I need it <laughs> I want to thank you so much, Sherry, for coming on my podcast today. Thank you. You're just the sweetest. And like I said, you've got the best laugh out there. It's just delightful. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, now you're going to make me giggle more. <laughs> thank you so much. You have a great day. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> Bye. Hey, everyone. I want to thank you all so much for listening to my interview with Sherry. She is so sweet and so nice. And I just love her interviewing her so um i hope you all check out a few of her work um a few of her modeling photos and i hope you all have a great day and make great choices bye